So um, obviously the best to her. For yeah, sure. for it's sure. To own up to that. Mm -hmm. MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred says he's open to upping the ante and taking action when it comes to protecting major leaguers from gambling threats. As Fox Eyes Kettle Green shows us, the commission says players have been talking to him about it, which isn't surprising in the wake of the Shohei Otani scandal, among others. Major League Baseball is considering what actions they'll take to protect players addressing threats arising from the prevalence of gambling in the sport nationwide. The league's commissioner, Rob Manfred, Tuesday mentioned the concerns as players have brought the issue to his attention, saying in part, quote, it's obviously one that's of concern, and we've been discussing internally what and whether we should do to be more proactive in this area. Jay Jaffe, senior writer at Fangraphs.com. Obviously, Major League Baseball should have already been doing something about that. If they're not, um, that's that's actually a pretty harrowing uh, thought. A Supreme Court ruling about six years ago struck down a federal law banning sports betting in most states, making way for betting in stadiums across the country. Since then, MLB permanently banned San Diego Padres infielder Tacopa de Mercano for betting on baseball, as four other players were suspended by the league for a year after placing unrelated bets with the legal sports book. They have ways to deter players from from doing this because the gambling houses are are cooperating with them uh, in terms of um, you know letting them know who is actually doing the gambling. Shohei Otani's former interpreter Ife Musuhara's guilty plea on federal charges last month adds to it. He's accused of bank and tax fraud worth seventeen million dollars. But ultimately, how far measures can go to address the matter on the MLB's end remains to be seen. His heart's in the right place in this. Um, but, you know, it, it, this is more a matter of law enforcement than it is a matter, of, you know, for the league. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Well, Amazon Day is today and tomorrow, and as shoppers dive into sales, experts are reminding consumers to stay alert for any possible scams. According to one Amazon official, the company has seen some hoaxes around the discount day in years past, including ones involving Prime memberships and order confirmations, and the Better Business Bureau says beware of ads and products that look too good to be true. If you see a bunch of five-star reviews that all look like they were written recently or they have the same type of language, those could be fake. So it's a good idea to possibly avoid that retailer, that product. Knowing what that product retails for, if it's an item that is sold out everywhere, but all of a sudden here it is, that's a red flag that consumers need to watch out for as well, that the product could be counterfeit. The Better Business Bureau is also cautioning people to watch out for mock websites and unsolicited emails or calls. And mystery boom, did you feel it like this guy in New Jersey? Just a loud kind of noise initially, and that was followed up by what can only describe like a tremor. Uh, the house itself shook. Pretty wild. The rattling, rolling, and sound that took social media by storm. Exactly what was it? We'll take a deeper look. And only in New York, kids, only in New York, could someone get their high school diploma more than 70 years after they should have graduated. But then again, everyone isn't Cindy Adams.